Hi, my name is Susan Kennard and I'm traditionally trained as a psychologist and psychotherapist. Well, I added a special tool to my toolbox a few years ago called EFT. Some of you have heard of it. It's the tapping method that helps people release stress from their body and their mind. So this video is an introduction really to how EFT or emotional freedom technique works within the mind and the body. It's called emotional freedom technique because that's exactly what it does. It works by releasing the stress within the mind and the body by using simple tapping points, which I will show you a bit later on. And the way that it works is that we acknowledge the problem that we have and then we reframe it or rephrase it with I'm okay anyway. So something like, even though I have this problem, even though I have this worry or this fear, I'm actually okay, I accept who I am anyway. And the way that that works is by, within the brain, if you imagine you've got different pathways within the brain, it changes those pathways. So you no longer go down the one road of being afraid of something or being worried about something or reacting in a particular way with anger or sadness. It actually changes the pathway. So it changes the river that you might have created a long, long time ago. So if I talk to you about stress, we have had stress all our lives. Everyone experiences stress. But depending on the level of stress, depends on whether it affects you in your daily life. And if you imagine that you've had some sort of trauma, and this might be why you're listening to this recording, is that you're trying to find a way to release that trauma or to release that fear or anger. And you have this trauma, and the way that you react to it is in a way that takes you away from really living your life every day. It stops you from moving forward. And the explanation of that is really that in early experiences, so we have an early part of our brain, which I'll show you is at the back of your head here. It's our primitive brain. And then we have a feeling part, which is here, and a thinking and a speaking part here. Those three parts of the brain find it really difficult to communicate with each other. And so when we have a trauma or a shock, we revert back to that early part of our brain. And normally that's from childhood, early childhood or later on in childhood, where we have been in a situation where we've had to keep ourselves safe. So that's our fight or flight part of our brain, which you've probably heard of. And then with EFT, what we're doing is we are changing the intensity of that reaction. So we are changing that moment of fight or flight. You no longer respond in that way. You no longer trigger to that anger, that frustration, that fear, that shock. And so the intensity changes and you still have the memory of it but you don't have the feelings that go with it. And people say to me that it transforms their life, that they feel calm, peaceful. And the main thing about living this life is really to walk through every day with peace within your heart so that you then can carry out activities, things that you want to do, have relationships, and no longer respond in ways that are irrational or stop you from fully standing in your power. So if I just show you briefly the tapping points, we start by using this point, which is the karate chop, on the side of the hand. And from Eastern philosophy, this is the heart meridian. And we tap on this, and this essentially tells us that we're safe. So when we're talking about something that's worrying or fearful, or something that's happened to us that we are really scared about talking about, we tap on this point, and we're essentially saying that we're safe. We then have another point, which is the eyebrow. And we continue to tap side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin point, collarbone, under the arm, just here, and the top of the head. These are all the points that I use. You may find other EFT practitioners that use other points, but these are the ones that I've found have been the most helpful when working with people. And really when I work individually or within groups, I'm intuitively drawn where to go. So the points that I might use might be slightly different to the ones I'll be talking to you about on different YouTube videos that you can watch. 
So if you'd like to contact me or learn a bit more about EFT, you can look at the next video that I've, that I've made, video number two, or you can contact me at susan at susankennard.co.uk or on Facebook or by my website which is www.susankennard.co.uk